just gonna jaywalk across Spring Garden. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up by the library next to Winston Churchill, eating pizza every day like some Ninja Turtles. The kid who burgles from St. Pat's to Gus's Pub at the Public Gardens, feeding ducks by the spot. What's up, cuz? A Grace Baby in the place, y'all. And like Glace Bay, he loves baseball. From the commons to the wanderer's grounds, and you know I feel weird when no water's around. Down at the harbor front where I used to dishwash. Before I quit to get a job pulling rickshaws, I was spitting raw. Just a kid from the peninsula, you might have seen picking up liquor on Agricola. The particular deliverer of the male star, hopping fences, hanging out at the rail yard or a pier. Just watching the harbor hop and feeling fat, like Miller's old barber shop. And anytime I need to smile and relax, I put my mind on the facts. Hey, comic fans. Thanks for tuning in to a comic show. To save you time and entertain you, Aaron's hired me, Booster Gold, the greatest hero you've never heard of, to tell you the rules for a comic show. One, we have things on A through F, generally. You say the letter and one word about what it is. If you have a lag and you're calling A and you don't say A Avengers, and now Batman's on A, and you don't want that, we pulled the wrong one for you. So we have to say, say the letter and one word about what it is. Have fun. Have fun. Enjoy comics. Let's have a good time together. Let's save a comic shop. Let's save the comic industry. One comic at a time. No fan left behind. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. And we're good. Awesome. Just finished sharing that video. Uh, yeah, we're live. Uh, this is the EXP. It's Sunday night. I had a busy week, man. We're making the most of summer. It was... Uh, my son's birthday this um, this week, Wednesday. So a big party then. Um, took my Wednesday show off, and then just been going nonstop with that little dude. Just doing fun stuff with that little dude. So um, there was a, a fair at the uh, Oviedo Mall or our town's mall, and he wanted to do all the crazy stuff: the gravitron, the hang glider. It was just I woke up so sore. I had like bruises on my my pecs. I mean, from being like strapped into that hang glider it was crazy but i i've been having a great time i had my parents up today that was awesome and um i i'm here let's have some fun i shared the video uh we're starting with this static set of um and if you're new to this stuff or, or you need uh the explanation of what's what the heck's going on here it is the um thing where you say the letter and one word about it that's you make a claim we um, invoice people on uh, through PayPal on Wednesday nights. We have three shows a week. We have it Sunday night, 8 to 10, Tuesday, 8 to 10, Wednesday, 8 to 10. And after the 10 o'clock show, we send one invoice out. If you're new, please click on that tiny URL scrolling across the screen. That URL will um, tell you about, um, ask you four questions. What's your name? What's your email? So that we can send you a... Um, a, an invoice on PayPal. And are you local to Central Florida? Because if you are, you can just pick up we're no extra charge at a comic shop, which is inarguably centrally located in Central Florida at the intersection of University and Cimarron, at the intersection of the road that goes to UCF and the road that goes to the uh, Orlando International Airport. So, I mean, it's you can't get more central. And uh, you can pick that up anytime we're open. But if you need to be shipped, it's per box, per shipment, flat $10. And the last question is, uh, is your name on PayPal different than your name here on Facebook? So we know, so we can match maybe some business name or something. So we make sure that um, when we get a, a, a notification that says so-and-so paid their invoice and we never invoiced a person of that name, it kind of messes things up a bit and we have to go back and search by email. So that's why that fourth question is there. And that's it. That's it. The other thing that if someone asks about a certain thing um, that we have out, uh, they ask a question like what condition is that in or what issue number is that? Um, or some kind of nuanced question about it until we answer that question is no longer in play. Once we answer that question, now having that knowledge, they either say, yes, I want it, or no, having that question answered, no, I don't want it. Uh, and that's called right of first refusal. The other thing is you can make an offer on things, but um, offer is making an offer is not right of first refusal. It's just an offer. And at any time, even if I'm considering the offer, someone can come in and chime in at full price and snag it. So that's just the, the rules. Um, and here's what we got going on here. I have this static set that I put together. I called it the uh, system shock set, the static system shock set. Because it'll put a shock to your system. And it comes with two things that I only have one of. One of those things is 
this one per store retail poster. It's like the I the A cover, really big, full size poster. So it's one per store folded uh, retailer poster, and you get this um, currently going for about fifteen dollars pop that is exclusive to Hot Topic. Then you get this one per store book that has been selling as high as 90 by itself. Um, I saw it sell from like 75 to to 90, but I think it sold 90 like with bids recently. Like it's really one that people are fighting over. This is the one at 25. So a lot of stores just ordered 25. So this is the, uh, the one to 25. That's going for about 50 regularly on eBay. And then that is the A, B, and C cover. The A cover is a $4 cover price. The B cover is a cardstock $5. The C cover is cardstock $5. So I said, yo, I will sell this whole set of the A, B, C, D, and E covers, one to 25, one per store, thank you cover, and this pop that I happen to have that is uh, exclusive, and this poster. So that was just something I thought was fun. I don't know. I thought it was fun. So front loaded with Static Shock. Of course, hi, Angel. What's up, what's up, what's up? And um, that's what I had going on. So um, if someone is interested in that, I put 150 uh, because the thank you one, the one per store one's going for about 90. I had that priced at 80. This one, the 125, is going for 50. I had it priced at 45. And um, then the other one's cover price. Then you have the pop and the, the poster is legitimately one per store. So um, yeah. That's what I had. So if someone wants to make an offer, they actually want all that stuff, make me an offer. If not, I will um, flip some of the ones to um, individually priced. So uh, no problem selling them individually. I just thought it was a cool thing to um, to do, a, like a set of all of it, because there was actually two things that were legitimately one per store, a retailer poster and a retailer thank you copy. So, you know, as a hardcore fan of stuff, I know that um, I always want the the one-offs of things of my favorite characters. It's just a weakness I have. So if it's like Blue Beetle or Booster Gold or Guy Gardner or um, Dazzler, Longshot, just weird characters like Animal Man, I have to have it. You know, Robot Man, Doom Patrol-ish stuff, you know, I have to have it. I just have to. It's, it's a weakness. But it's a weakness within um, parameters. Like, Superman certainly was overpowered sure but he had like a weakness to kryptonite and I, I was like there's no way i know myself you know i know myself there's no way i'm going to stop collecting stuff i can't stop collecting stuff but i can stop being someone that has to collect them all on every figure line or everything i collect by saying i'm not going to collect the entire line of anything but i'm going to collect every single time Blue Beetle is done in three dimensions, or Booster Gold is done in three dimensions. That's just me. I'm weird. So I figured there might be a static person there that <laughs> might have that hang up I have of my favorite characters that legitimately wants to have one of everything static shock and was giving them a bite at taking it all with one claim. It does not have to be that way. And I am changing it now as I speak, um, as I, um, you know, ramble. I'm changing it to individually marked so we can get this show bumping. Honestly, I just like my um, triple S static system shock set. Put a shock to your system. Love that show. All right, so here we go. Here we go. I had this whole thing for 150, but now I'm going to break it up. I'm going to break it up, y'all. So now I have the A cover for four, B cover since it's card stock for five, C cover since it's a card stock cover price for five. I will switch this over. Near mint plus one to 25, had it marked at 45. I had it marked lower than what I saw it currently selling for on eBay. However, you guys know I'm always willing to. Um, take offers. The one per store I had at 80. Then I'll give this um, 
how about I let the uh, poster go with whoever gets the one per store. So the two one per stores will be what they are together. They are both one per stores. They're both E. And that is marked at 80. And I'll take off these um, little post-its and we'll get this show on the road. Oh, and then I finally got my uh, copies of the VHS variant from Scout. This book is bonkers. 18 plus, just totally bonkers book. Hard, hard R rating. Hard R rating, definitely. And um, bag VHS variant. Have it at 25. I sold one last week on uh, Tuesday for that price. And I got two more. I do have a couple of the um, first prints still. All right, we got some claims. So far, you have multiples of stuff like this, right? Yeah. So far, I've seen while I was over packing, there was shields one per stack. Do you have one of those? What? <clears throat> the one per is the other one there. All right. Set for 100. No, I just broke it up instead. I have all Marvel Legends. Yeah, I was. I had every Marvel Legends at the time where I made this this weird call. I had every single Marvel Legends, and of course I got in the habit of that because they all had Build-A-Figures from like Wave 3 or 4 had a Build-A-Figure, so that, you know, got them all. And um, I had every DC Direct, and then I just couldn't do it anymore. Because <laughs> I, I started a store, and I was like, I can't have like me pulling from my own stock and whatnot. I put myself in parameters. So we got some statics going. Nice. That's the only other B up there, right? What? Um, there was actually like two of all these because I put a priced one on top instead of just putting a price sticker on one. Oh. <laughs> so okay. that's on me. But here you go. Gotcha. Thank you. Put a shock to your sister. There it is. What? This was a fun book. It's uh, Claire and the Dragons. I actually got uh, one for my daughter. It's Scout's um, All Ages Line Scoot, their sub imprint. But this Claire and the Dragons is a comic Tom exclusive, but it, it is a homage to um, Dr. Seuss. But I said it was like the Fox book or something. I don't, I don't remember. I'm sure she said the right thing, and I'm just not remembering. But look how cool this cover is. And it is a, an, an exclusive, a Comics Tom exclusive for Scout Scoot. Put this out. So we have any offers for one per store. It comes with the poster that is one per store as well, and the one to 25. So I'll be taking offers on those. The Shields was definitely interested in that as soon as the show started up. What do you mean? As in, like, he would take it just immediately. Okay. Well, I didn't have the price. I had it as a set for 150 mm -hmm. So if he wants to make an offer or make a claim, that's totally open. And here's that Claire and the Dragons super fun exclusive. Um, Comics Tom exclusive Cat in the Hat homage cover. Not Cat in the Hat, Dr. Seuss homage. And my daughter rattled off exactly what cover it was homaging, but I forget what she said. You know. And here's the book you didn't know you wanted, but you absolutely totally want it because it is freaking awesome. That's the last B up there, right? Yeah, man. Okay. Cool. D and E for 100. All right, all right, all right. Uh, hi, Aaron, did you have a chance to check? Yes, yes, sir. And I'm going to, um, yes, it was still here. I'm going to um, cancel that label and um, upgrade it to, to priority and um, make that happen. But yeah, it was here. Print it out, label on everything. Uh, so yes, so I have D and E for 110. I have D and E for 100. 
I'm selling on these statics. Okay, cool. So I am up to date. You're good, man? Yeah, I'm up to date. Cool. So here is Tom King's new miniseries, Character Study, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, Crypto, Supergirl, Tom King, and that is $5 cover price. You might not have even known that was coming out, but it is out now or next week. All right. So really wants that uh, one per store for full price. Then. <clears throat> okay, so the one per store is full price, which leaves the um, D in play for full price or an offer. Uh, Wolf asked, did you have a chance to check on the status of my package as well? Send a DM about it a day or two ago. Um, uh, no, I, I'll get right on that. I've been a little bit scattered with um, to-do lists for my wife and my son's birthday party and all that craziness. Um, I hadn't really delegated well either um, during that to employees. So I will be on top of everything starting like now be working all day tomorrow it's fun i'm ready ready to get out of the house kids are at camp and i'll get to work but um yeah some things i'm switching over from media mail to either priority or sending ups because some things when it gets to a certain weight is a lot cheaper ups than priority and they both say they get there in the same amount of time i'm kind of peeved at um the post office anyway. Open up some of my packages. And one of the things they said was a media mail was. It was a friggin' audio book. It was an audio book. It happened to be for the 52, DC 52. So it had superheroes on it. But it was an audio, like audio CDs, like an audio book CDs. That's clearly, clearly media mail. It just happens to be based on a comic book, and they say comic books aren't. And that that was like the last straw for me. I was like, no, you guys didn't. <laughs> it was a mess. It was a mess. All right, so I got Black Cot number three. This is new next week. Black Cot number three. And I'll put that on E. Black Cot number three. That Claire and the Dragons is a um, Tom, Tom exclusive. That's also a homage cover. And I got something too sweet in this deal. How about I put out this Cherry Blackbird VHS with a still bagged first print regular cover. So you got the regular and the Chase variant together, both still bagged, both first prints, both near mint plus, okay. 25 for both together. You've already got a black cotton, black cotton number three on E. Yeah, it's new next week, man. And also, Sean asked just you tonight, but I'm here. And well, Sean is not, he's not your biggest fan. What? No, I'm just kidding, Lucas. Okay. You get the new, uh, wait, Stephen Middleton asked, you get the new Many Deaths of Lila Star foil cover and or Time Before Time? I think that is next week's books. Um, picking up next week's books tomorrow. It's got tracking on for tomorrow, which was kind of weird because it's early but um yeah i don't have those right now and i got a new um black caravan book you know those are the dudes that did um phantom star killer which was one of my favorite books of last year this is rad wrath skate or die literally ash can and i have a few of them because it sounds cool the premise sounds cool, like undead skaters. It's a horror book of undead skaters from like, you know, like 80s skater die skaters. Rad Wrath. What would it be Wraith? I think it's Wraith. Rad Wraith. It's a W R A I T A? Yes. Rad Wraith. Yes. That's just more of a tongue twister. All right, guys. So here you go. It was. Fun and ridiculous. I've already read it. Is that type of um, 
weird uh, DIY, DIY, but nostalgic. You know, it's lowbrow, obviously, but authentic. Authentically lowbrow with a punk DIY uh, aesthetic that rings true and it's horror and it's badass. I mean, I enjoyed it. Uh, does have kind of a um, deadly class vibe aesthetically, but you know, maybe it's just 80 skaters. What are you yeah, looking at me for? Of, uh, the Wraith. Oh, you want those now, buddy? Yes, please. Cool. Oh, so you had a question. You're going to get back on that skateboard, man? Yes, I'm on the skateboard. Uh, you okay. already asked. I saw that you guys printed a shipping labels a few weeks ago, but hadn't shipped it. Assumed you'd get around to it. Who's this? You guardy. Yeah, I'm on all that stuff now. I will be uh, messaging people either tonight or tomorrow with um, updates on all that. I mean, it's not much stuff, but some stuff did um, get packed up, printed out, and not taken to the post office. One of the things was I had a, a pickup scheduled, and they didn't come, but that's just that one day. Then um, some did get taken by us, and then some kind of had other things put on top of them, not heavy things, and kind of obscured that those were boxes labeled to go out. Won't happen again. I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> the other thing is um, UPS will do pickups that I think are more reliable because they just didn't come, and they said they came. But I was here the whole day. They said it's all good. No, I'm on top of it. There was yeah. a problem. A slight delay. So what do we got out right now? About to change something up in a cool way. Now F is going to be $5 trade paperbacks, unless they're hardcovers. If they're hardcovers, I'll certainly point that out. Then we have this 1 to 25. I had it at 45. I will take an offer on that. It is in near mint plus, near perfect condition. I take an offer on that. This is first print, new next week. That's an ash can that I enjoyed. Black Caravan is, you know, I, I will check out everything they do. I mean, I don't have to pay for it necessarily. I pay net cost and then try to sell it. But I will try everything that they put out because I like the vibe. I like the, um, I like the whole whatever, you know, the whole motif. I get it. I like it. And this is Tom King's new book, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. That is new next week. And then on A, I have both the VHS variant and the regular first print, both bagged up. Near Mint Plus, $25 for both. It's already sold out, already going to a second print. And that's what I got there. Then I'll start putting out some of these um, trade paperbacks. Might as well start with a friggin' hardcover. Who wants a Stephen King Dark Tower Gunslinger Born, which was like volume one of the Marvel Gunslingers? Still in the shrink rack hardcover for $5. It says trade paperback. I will tell you if it's a hardcover. I have two of those, $5 each. First come, first serve. Oh, I'm not really doing right of first refusal on the $5 things, you know, because they're all new. They're all basically near mint, you know. No one really scrutinizes graphic novels that crazily. I mean, you might. I don't know. But they're all perfect. They're all, you know, things that would come out of a diamond box and not get reported damaged. So that is $5 trade paperbacks. These happen to be two hardcovers of Stephen King's Volume 1, Dark Tower. It had a $25 cover price originally. You cool with that, Lucas? Yeah, I'm cool. All right. Thanks, bro. Okay, do you already answer Michael Acevedo's question? I love Michael Acevedo. He's a good guy. Yeah, he said he wants uh, King Supergirl, dude. Yeah, but the question Are any of the that... static shocks crisscross? You gotta, like, put your overalls on backwards and jump? What is his name actually crisscross? Yeah. 
You're serious? Yeah. Oh my god, his parents didn't see. They didn't miss that opportunity. What? Make you jump. Yeah. So this isn't crisscross. This one is not crisscross. This is not crisscross. This is the Cohen. Crisscross is the interior artist. Is the A cover crisscross? Because he is the interior artist. Oh, are there more of the uh, Supergirl empty? Yes. Yes, there is, bro. What are you going to do about it, man? Uh, right one up for Ace Vito. Let's see. No, this cover, there is not a cover by Chris Cross. Randolph, old school variant by Martinsboro, new school variant, Dennis Cohen. And Olivier Coipel, that was that one per store. Chris Cross did the layouts of the book, but he's not on the cover, man. I'm sorry. I tried. I opened it up and looked for you, bro. Apologize. Get that one, though. Make me an offer on that one. Here's a Pride variant of Truth and Justice with Batwoman. Really cool looking cover. Really cool looking cover, Lucas. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, Ace Vito, I had to talk with Oral about that. We're going to mark you all, mar we're going to mark all of your items as Vito M. So there's no confusion for all As who now? Vito M is what we're going to do for Ace Vito. So we mix them up with Miguel Ace Vito since they're. Yeah, they're both M's. Initials. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, bro. You do what you got to do, man, because I'm not having any more. And I'm about two minutes away from our first break. All right. Uh, you got an offer from Schieffer about D static. Okay. 30. Hmm? 30 for D static. Sounds fair to me. Sounds fair to me. I do want to sell it before we go on break. Anyone else have a problem with me selling it for $30? Speak now, or I'm pulling the trigger. Hmm. I only have one copy of this DC Pride Truth and Justice 5. Um, most definitely the lowest ordered Pride variant, because no one is ordering that book. So I didn't sell any of these for five dollars. That's weird. Hardcovers. What about Descender Volume One? Ten dollar book. Descender Volume One. You get it at a wholesale price. Five dollars. Jump into a Jeff Lemire thing. Did you like Sweet Tooth? Here's his other big epic about a little kid hmm. in over his head. It is true. And Demon, Hell is Earth. This is a Demon miniseries. Full, complete Demon miniseries. Boom, boom, $5. Descender, $5. Demon, $5. Good times? Yeah. Uh, no, it's Lucas with me tonight. Lucas. Yeah. Also, Schieffer asked, did you get the Wonder Woman black? And no, gold? I didn't order that many copies. I just didn't feel that strong about the book. But um, we're going on break now, our first break. Probably. June is Pride Month on The Experience, and we're celebrating our friends in the LGBTQ plus community. Join us June 5th and 6th as we kick off our Pride Month celebration with Experience Pride, a two-day event featuring creators from the community as well as allies and friends. And then stay tuned all month as we continue our celebration of Pride, only on The Experience, comics, culture, and sales. Big news is on the way. Two brand new sales shows and two classic shows are returning to the experience this week. Sign up for our mailing list to learn more.
To be continued. Three little words that hold the secret to the next great story. Three words that will thrill you, confound you, give life to new possibilities. Every variation of To Be Continued is a promise. A promise of adventure. A promise of excitement. A promise of unseen wonders and unexplored worlds. A promise that every issue you read makes you a part of a never-ending journey. And behind every page, there will be an unopened door waiting for you. This story to be continued at your local comic book shop today. Visit ComicShopLocator.com today. And we're back. All right, here's what we got going on. I got for half an ounce second chances, number one, five dollars. Nice cardstock cover. Second chances, number one, black caravan, five dollars. This is Return of the Goddess, Dawn by Joseph Michael Linsner. Dawn. It says volume two. I'm sure it's out of print. Gothic fantasy. Five bucks. Demon Hell is Earth. Recent trade. You know it's recent because that's the new DC logo. Five bucks. Descender. Perfect copy. Volume one. Jeff Lemire's Descender. Five bucks. Then I have Supergirl. Tom King's new book. New uh, this coming week. That is the A and the B cover. They're both $5. They're both card stock and um, eight issue miniseries. This is the one with limited trade dress. And then that is the pride cover card stock of truth and justice. Number five featuring Batwoman. So that's what's currently up. And some star Wars variants. This and that. Here is eight different 40th anniversary variants. It is issue 32 through 38. 32 through 38 of Star Wars 40th anniversary variants. Doesn't have 39, but then it has 40. So it's eight issues, 25 bucks of moments from A New Hope. All high grade. $25, eight issues, high grade, variant covers, $25. Then I have Scotty Young cover for issue one, six bucks. Near Mint Plus, only have one of them, high grade. And this one, I was surprised, but it is the first blank cover of Star Wars. 
the 2015 Jason Aaron Star Wars just says Star Wars number one. And I saw it sell most recently for 30 bucks. 30 bucks sold on eBay. So I put it at 20. But it is a high grade blank, the first blank Star Wars cover. Star Wars is gone already. B Star Wars is gone. And then Michael Isvito asked, any Silver Surfer Volume 3, 34 through 50? Um, perhaps we we have been selling some of that run, and some didn't sell. I'll get over at that. Here is the director's cut of issue one. Near Mint Plus high grade director's cut number one, just for five bucks, just for cover price. Cardstock cover director's cut. Got uh, Scout Comic Midnight Western Theater, number one. Midnight Western Theater, number one. First print. I have two copies of that, and I have it for the cover price of $4. And on these Star Wars uh, that haven't sold, I'd take an offer on that. So there is a uh, link of B Star Wars. Significantly after it was B Star Wars for Scotty Young. Oh, that was already claimed. There's multiple claims, like on the same minute, so that'd be the Scotty one. So this new one, Rivera, mm -hmm. for the new Star Wars. Yeah, I shouldn't have put another Star Wars on the same letter. You should have stopped me from doing that, bro. Well, I mean, you already had it there. Yeah, I know. I was just messing. And here is all four of the Fantastic Four Alex Ross variants. All four for fifteen dollars. You missed Fantastic, Invisible Woman, The Thing, and the Human Torch. All near men, all four for fifteen dollars. All four for fifteen dollars. The Shields asked any Nightwing. Um, no, I haven't seen any. I know it's coming out next week, or, you know, Tuesday. Then I have the Black Widow number one, one per store, black and white Fortnite variant for $10. Black and white Fortnite variant for $10. I have Legend of the Dark Knight. Was told it had a uh, first appearance of some new villain in it. But Legend of the Dark Knight number two, haven't read it yet. Read number one, enjoyed it. Nice um, kind of Batman 89, 90 feel to it. Derek Robertson. A Widow is Gone. Cool. So this is Midnight Western Theater number one, New Scout comic, first print, Legend of Dark Knight number two. Had a couple copies of that. That is all four of those Alex Ross Fantastic Four, all four of the Fantastic Four. All four of them. That's the Fantastic Four. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then A, I think I can put another Star Wars on there by now. Here is something. 
this was the one to fifty variant of a uh, Terry Dotson variant of Star Wars thirty eight. One to fifty. I saw um, people were asking anywhere from like forty dollars to twenty five dollars. Most recently, it sold as a uh, like best offer where we don't know what it sold for. A best offer that I think they were asking twenty five and sold for best offer. Um, you will not see one listed for this price. I have two near mint plus copies, so I put it at fifteen dollars. This is issue thirty eight. It is the one to fifty. Terry Dotson variant, and I put it at just $15. It is absolutely perfect. Near Mint Plus, I had two of those. Seriously, I really did. Cool. Got anyone that wants a Fortnite number five? Uh, Batman, Fortnite, zero point number five. For the cover price of five dollars. Cover price of five dollars. Uh, you got two things here now. Angel of Sphere is on Edon and Hoops asked ten for B. Twelve for B? No. I was retorting with 12. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is something that should go fast. Dead Boy Detectives. This is uh, Ed Brubaker doing it, but his new game is Dead Boy Detectives, who aren't um, going to be in the first season of the same and Netflix show, which is reasonable. Why should they be that early on? But... They are going to be in season three and have already been cast in season three of Doom Patrol. You know my favorite superhero show of all time, Doom Patrol? Mm -hmm. Dead Boy Detectives. Neil Gaiman's Dead Boy Detectives was cast in season three. Uh, yeah, so. Fortnite on D and Deal for $12 on D and E Dead. Tell me you're having to get up for this one, man. <laughs> so we got it. someone claimed a Fortnite. Yep. Okay, and I have more Fortnites. Then there was your deal for B. Mm hmm. But no one wants this A, 1 to 50 for $15. I got two of them. I got two of them. Nobody wants A. It's a good deal, bro. High grade, known artist, beautiful cover. How about this? If um, if I could sell both of them, I'd sell both at ten dollars each, like two different people, or someone could buy both for twenty. But two different people, ten dollars each, I'd sell both. Now you'd be like, cool, I got twenty bucks. That's cool. Those people that just have them listed on eBay didn't get nothing yet. <laughs> yeah. So if anyone's interested in A for ten dollars, let me know. Wow, eight for ten dollars. You I said. I have two. Yeah. Well, uh, you got one instantly. It was already. Really? Yep. Pretty quick. And there's the second one. Okay. Cool. All right. So we sold both of these. Yep. Both of them are gone. And this is a near mint number 200. Avengers 200 near mint, 12 bucks. Thank you. 12 bucks. Here is a near mint plus Star Wars number two. Star Wars number two first print. And this was something that is, this just tickled me, Lucas. It tickled me. So I'm looking at this, um, um, Sergio Argonez okay. variant cover. You know, he did uh, Gru is the main artist for Mad Magazine uh, currently, you know. Okay. You, you'd you recognize his work. Look, is this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Mad Magazine. So anyway, he did this variant for Star Wars 2, right? But there was an error in the print run. 
and the error was a double covered error. I know this because I saw one on eBay and they were trying to sell it for like $85 or something. So I was like, you know, it's not going to be double covered, but I'm going to check. And lo and behold, it was double covered. It was the one that has the regular A cover underneath the um, variant, variant cover. cover. And there was only one currently. Some and some? B's gone. There was only one currently on eBay like this. And they were asking an asinine price that they're not going to get. However, that was freaking cool. And it was freaking cool that it was the error double cover. So I got my jollies um, <laughs> double checking something and be like, oh, that's cool. And then I marked it at 25. Like I said, I couldn't find a sold like that. And there was only one currently like it on eBay. So that's just what I put. I don't know if it's fair. I don't know. Don't have any sales history. But it legitimately is near mint plus with two covers. There is um, Deadly Class, Volume 1. Deadly Class, Reagan Youth, 1987. One of my favorite books. It was my favorite Rick Remender book before Scumbag. Scumbag has claimed that title now, though. Do you like Scumbag, Lucas? Scumbag's interesting. Have you read any Scumbag? I've skimmed. It is definitely, I guess, interesting. Uh, C Star Wars is gone. What was on C Star Wars? That was the 25, the Mad cover. It legitimately has the double cover. I'm serious. Thank you. I think I proved it on camera. <laughs> and here is a 1 to 25. I couldn't find it sold. Is the 1 to 25 McLeod cover? 1 to 25. I couldn't find a sold copy. So it went for the $5 cover price. It is a 1 to 25. It is a near mint plus. I have two of them. Um, and it's going for cover price. A Avenger for 8 is what Frank offered. It's beautiful, bro. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful, beautiful copy. It's a key. Don't remember the reasons. There was like two entries about it. And in high grade, it is 12. This is near mint. I wouldn't say it's near mint plus. But um, it's fair. I'll take it. Here you go. Okay, got it. And this is one that did have some movement, some value. It is the uh, photo variant, the movie variant, 1 to 15 movie, cover E, 1 to 15 movie variant, from New Hope, Give it Plus, 20 bucks. And here is a new book, issue one, represent out next week from DC. It is a $10 cover price, celebrating powerful voices, represent issue one. Collecting issues one through seven of the revolutionary digital first series. And that is ten dollar cover price. Only have I guess I only ordered one over over subs. So but I have one. Super thick. Issues one through seven of the digital first first in print here. Yes, it was digitally first. This is the first time in print. New next week. Got it now. Got one copy. We got a hardcover of all new X Men, all different, volume four, Shrinkraft. Shrinkraft hardcover, volume four. That is $5. Oh, this is cool. Death of Dracula. Death of Dracula, $20 volume from Marvel. Marvel's Dracula. And that is five dollars. That is just five dollars. I'm positive that's long out of print.
I have Adam Strange, Man of Two Worlds miniseries, Kubert, Art. Instead of $20, it is $5. I have The Midsy Spider-Man, Mark of the Tarantula. Instead of a $30 collection, collecting Amazing Spider-Man um, 231 through 237 annual 16. It is $5. It's a nice chunk of some classic Spider-Man. Tarantula, $5. I guess this is the big deal run that I had with Star Wars. Sold the Vader one the other day. This is from the same collection. And I have Star Wars. It is uh, Jason Aaron and Kieran Gillen's runs on Star Wars. And it is issue 1 through 61, all near mint plus, all high grade. These are all high grade copies. Did it just under 200 bucks. So it is 61 issues. Huge chunk. 1 through 61. All in my lights. There's a few keys in this run. They're all in your mint plus. This is pedigree uh, collection from a pedigree collector. Like, seriously, this these are beautifully preserved books. And it is 1 through 61 for $199. So all runs like this go for higher on eBay, but I'm willing to take a little bit lower. I'm willing to. If you've always wanted to read some of that uh, run, there it is. Spider-Man is gone. Cool. All right, oh, here's an all-ages Spider-Man. Great power. A digest size. But Marvel, all-ages Spider-Man, great power. $5. It, put on here because there's just a Spider-Man on there. Nice. I got some Scott Snyder of American Vampire hardcovers we put out for five dollars. Here is a, a treat. Harvey Picar, American Splendor, Another Day. Am I really so weird? Are there a lot more weird people out there who just won't admit it? So, American Splendor. There's the All Ages Spider Man. Splendor? Yeah, American Splendor, bro. Okay. And I have American Vampire. I only have one of that. Thank you. American Vampire. And these are hardcovers. Hardcovers. So it would be a $30 hardcover. It is volume five. But I've read American Vampire. And most of them are um, kind of self-contained story arcs that build, but could be read out of order, somewhat, like Sam in. American Vampire, that is volume five in hardcover for just $5. They also have Deadly Class, volume one for just $5. This is Ultimate Spider-Man, Great Power. Digest size, all ages book, $5. Adam Strange, Man of Two Worlds, $20 collection, $5. Marvel's Death of Dracula. And that is a $20 collection for just $5. We have Descender, Jeff Lemire's future robot epic. Sort of like Sweet Tooth with an entirely different setting. But the same thing, like there's a little boy in danger and there's somebody that needs to protect him. 
I see. You know what I'm saying? He has, he has some things that are in his wheelhouse. The child escort story. <laughs> you make it sound really bad, that child escort story. Not like no, that, dude. dude. Jesus. Like an escort mission. It just feels very stereotypical. Lone Wolf and Cub. Lone Wolf and Cub. Okay, I see it now. <laughs> Black Lightning, year one. Black Lightning, year one. Five dollars. Black Lightning, year one, five dollars. And here, full complete mini series. Bizarro. Bizarro. I have a Star Wars number one, one to 20, signed by Jason Aaron. Near Mint Plus, one to 20, signed by Jason Aaron. What'd you say, man? Oh, no, I was just uh, doubling over the cover. So here. take an offer on this. High grade run of Star Wars 1 through 61. It is absolutely high grade. Near Mint Plus, unequivocally. Unequivocally Near Mint Plus. That sound good? Yep. Uh, Star C. What's on C? Star Wars. C oh, yeah, that's signed by Jason Aaron. Cool. Thank you. You got it, man. I'll try not to put another Star Wars on there. How about I put Fortnite 5B cover? And that is $6 cover price. I'll put that C there. Oh, and then I have the X-Men 21 Pride variant. X-Men 21 Pride variant. That's Mystique. Pride variant, and I'm going to put that on A and change A to $2. I still have this run. I'd certainly be willing to take an offer on it. 1 through 61. High grade. Absolutely must stress that that is high grade. What else do I got in here? Oh, cool. Yes, yes. Uh, X-Men on A is gone. Oh, that's nice. X-Men on what now? A. That's $2. Now right? I have plenty of those. That's why I put it for $2. Here we go, brother. Gosh, I appreciate it. Cool. Here is... Variant cover of Star Wars 13, Vader down tie-in, variant cover with Afro. Have that for cover price. We'll take down this Bizarro and this American Vampire hardcover and put up Avengers the Big Three. This is five bucks, $30 hardcover. Avengers Big Three collecting... Um, Iconic team ups of those three characters. Uh, and Black Lightning, year one. Black Lightning, year one. It has a CW cover, but it assuredly is a comic book, year one. I'm sure the comic was just greenlit because of the show, but it is comic continuity and comic art on the inside for year one of Black Lightning. It just has the photo show cover. So that is sold. Mm -hmm. Comet sold. This is Atomic Robo volume three, but I say with absolute authority that any of this Atomic Robo can be read out of order. They are brilliantly written with everything you need to know to read any story arc independent of the other story arc. Super fun. Atomic Robo. Love Brian Clevenger, the writer. Good guy. $5. Atomic Robo. And someone's going to jump on this immediately. I only have this. One copy. Batman. His Greatest Adventures. So it is animated Batman collected stories. Batman His Greatest Adventures animated. Who does not want that? I am sorry I only have one copy. 
And here is Batman 66 meets Green Hornet. I mean, thematically similar. The sidekick and the no powers and, you know, like, they'd work in the same time period-ish. Certainly interesting. <laughs> Alex Ross would like to paint both of them. It is what it is, brother. All right. And then I have... Um, an e Batman and F Batman. They both left? Both left. All right, so that's Avengers Big 3. This is Atomic Robo. And this is Spider-Man One More Day. Full and complete One More Day. Hold on for One More Day. And is it time for break? Oh, man, I went over. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I didn't You're know probably yelling at me. Yeah, break. <laughs> To be continued. Three little words that hold the secret to the next great story. Three words that will thrill you, confound you, give life to new possibilities. Every variation of To Be Continued is a promise. A promise of adventure. A promise of excitement. A promise of unseen wonders and unexplored worlds. A promise that every issue you read makes you a part of a never-ending journey. And behind every page, there will be an unopened door waiting for you. This story to be continued at your local comic book shop today. Visit ComicShopLocator.com today. Show. I'm Aaron Holland of Comic Shop. 
This is the comic shop's warehouse, super secret, located in Winter Park. No, it's located in Oviedo. The store is located in Winter Park. I live in Oviedo now, and I love it. I love it. We were just at the Oviedo Fair at the mall. My son made me do the Gravitron. I almost puked. The hang glider, friggin' tilt a whirls. It was terrible, but making memories, getting bruises and making memories. So, what do I got out right now? I'm on the experience right now, the EXP. It's uh, something I do on Sundays. It's super fun. Here is the first volume of Rick Remender's Captain America in hardcover in a shrink wrap. Shrink wrap hardcover, $25 cover price, just $5. And this is Captain Marvel miniseries from, you know, Marvel Secret Invasion tie-in. And it is a Marvel miniseries collecting Captain Marvel 1 through 5 and material from Civil War the Return that like set this series off. So there's that for just five. That's just five. This is a Comic Tom exclusive variant of scout's new book claire and the dragons and it is a dr seuss homage for five dollars that is a low grade it does have writing on the cover some dude's name you know like the kid wrote his name on the cover but it's low grade low grade is a hundred dollars it is hawkman's first titled book first published titled book hawkman solo you know he was in other books this is his first solo book, Hawkman. Now in his own magazine, issue one, low grade, low grade. So it's like, it's definitely intact. Definitely no question about it. No, no missing pieces. It could be a three. It's definitely higher than a two. Low grade, hundred bucks. That's what I put it. And that's a near mint copy of Firestorm 24 First Blue Devil, 10 bucks. Firestorm 24 First Blue Devil, 10 bucks. Then I have this week's uh, Kyle Stark's book. He's a uh, writer of um, the Rick and Morty comics. So this is Seven Sidekicks of Trigger Keaton. And that Six Sidekicks of Trigger Keaton, number one, instead of $4, I just put it $2. It's a returnable book. It didn't really sell well. The cover is kind of weird, but great name for action comedy stuff. And instead of returning it and getting $2, they just, I'll put it out for $2, see what happens. So that's what I have. Any questions, any bites on anything, Lucas? We do have a question uh, from Schaefer. Do you have a Hawkman for him? No, that's the first appearance of Zatanna. And then there was that other question for him, so you already answered that? What, issue 21? Yeah. Most recent like issue, issue 21, the first... Um, Hellfire Gala tie-in of X-Men, issue 21. And this is a hardcover Captain America Volume 1, Rick Remender's first volume. Here is Amazing Spider-Man by J. Michael Straginski, Skin Deep. This is Amazing Spider-Man Dan Slot, Trouble on the Horizon. $5. $5 trades. I trade that for $5. No? Maybe. Maybe. All right, cool. Here is Silver Surfer, number one, volume two, near mint minus. Near mint minus. Uh, ASM on E is gone. Okay. Silver on B as well. Who? Silver Surfer on B. Oh, Silver Surfers. And here is Captain America 242 and Pine. 242 and Pine. Thank and you. what is on B now is Firestorm 24 near mint, which is the first appearance of Blue Devil. $10.
Here's Batman 98, B cover, B cover, $5, the B cover. So here I had Captain America, Volume 1, in hardcover, in the shrink wrap, Rick Remender. Taking that down. And I'll put um, Secret Invasion, Spider-Man. The Secret Invasion, Spider-Man miniseries. One through three, and the annual. Taking down this amazing Spider-Man on F. On F. It's actually just one. Thank you. Here is Captain Marvel, full and complete. That's been up there. And I have Captain America and Hawkeye. Looks cool. Colin Bunn, Cat Hawkeye. Just five dollars. Put it on top of Captain Marvel. We sold one more day earlier. Here is One Moment in Time, the sequel. $5, One Mo Moment in Time. This is Secret Invasion Amazing Spider-Man, one and done. Here is Ant-Man Volume 1, Second Chance Man, Ant-Man Volume 1 by Nick Spencer. He had a voice for Ant-Man. So this is One More Day, Captain America Hawkeye, Captain Marvel, Ant-Man by Nick Spencer, and Amazing Spider-Man Secret Invasion. If you have any bites on that Hawkman number one, low grade. Not something you see every day. Adam Hughes cover, barbed wire, barbed wire, so this is Amazing Spider-Man One More Day, Captain America and Hawkeye, Captain Marvel, let's put barbed wire. Uh. Ant-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, Secret Invasion. I have an offer from Sheeper. Uh, Seahawkman 16. Um, counter was 70, and I, I'd be fine with that. And this is Art Ops, How to Start a Riot. Mike Allred on Art. Of Madman Fame, Volume One, Vertigo Series Art Ops. That's one more day. Let's see how these comments are going. So I countered with seventy. If you'd be alright at that, that is fine condition. It could be VF. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Fine condition. Some color breaks. More than what would be VF for sure. Five bucks. And here is Amazing Spider-Man, Inhuman, and all new Captain America, which is that Sam Wilson cap. Like you look like at the end of that show. Oh, you look like in that new toy I got my son for his birthday. A uh, toy box. Disney toy box figure. Freaking love those Disney toy box figures.
So here is Power Rangers 53, 1 to 10 variant. As soon as I did that, he went to 65. What? Chief, that was before you did that. Well, yeah, I was just, just before. I was just doing it on that computer. Yeah, Sean, you got me the Disney toy box figure. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I thank you for that, sir. I thank you for for uh, hooking my son up with that bona fide gift, which is a good use of your employee bona discount. Bona fide gift. That's the terminology. If someone's having an employee discount, they're either buying it for themselves or for a bona fide gift. And it was a bona fide gift. Yeah, that's fair. To my son. To your son. Yes. Mm-hmm. Your problem with that? Yes. All right. I'm joking. Okay, cool. I got some charm. This is weird. Very weird. Jeez. Wow. Charm okay. Season 10. Charm did that same Buffy thing. Charm Season 10. The classic Charmed. And I have Volume 1, Volume 2, and I have 3 and 4. If you were a Charmed fan and thought, yo, I think the Xenoscope uh, 10th season might be cool to um, indulge in four volumes for 20 bucks. I got it. I got it right here. And Sean, we got you for your um, Star Wars, uh, what was it, issue 61 through 75. So we got you for that. That is already pulled for you and it's kept up. Processing. Let's just say processing because that's how it works. Yeah, okay. Oh, and I have this um, galley copy. It's a galley copy. It's an uncorrected proof, which were commonly called galley copies in um, the industry. And that industry would be, I don't know, sales and marketing of books. So this is a galley copy, an uncorrected galley copy. Wait, Schaefer. Hold on, did you not? That was essentially one per store. I don't think he understood that he actually got it for 65. Yeah, you got it for 65, bro. Well, maybe you should like his comment. I can't really like it from here because this one doesn't bother me on Facebook for some reason. <laughs> yeah, man, I wouldn't have taken it down like trying to strong you into 70. Yeah, no. It's just I can't reply there, so I had to go all the way back. To yeah, you have a terrible system. Wow. That Why don't you just pick up that laptop that's not connected to anything and walk it here so they're both side by side? That's fair. <laughs> you couldn't come up with a reason why not to? Well, no, there's no Kyrona argument for that. That just makes it simple. Okay. So that's art ops. This is uh, one moment in time. One moment in time. Just five bucks. Captain America and Hawkeye. Five bucks. Captain Marvel Secret Invasion, Marvel, five bucks. And this is Beauty. What is an STD that makes you beautiful? Oh. He apparently uh, changed his mind and he doesn't want it. Oh. All right, well, then put it back out for just 65 then. Just okay. rewrite the thing. Gotcha. Yeah, man, I wasn't strong arm you into anything. He said six. He came back and said he said 65 before I typed 70, and I was like, ah, hmm. you know, seems like I would say 70, you'd say 65, and then I said, cool. It just it was out of order. <laughs> but if you change your mind, that it's fine too. There we go. So here is the Star Wars annuals. I think at least one of them was key with the first appearance, mm -hmm. and they're all near mint plus. I have all four Star Wars annuals. I put them for 20. So here is that Wait, low grade. Did you answer Nedder's question? What is Nedder's question? Uh, all four charmed at $4 per if I grab all four. Yeah, that sounds fine. Charmed. So here is a one. All and I only have one, two, so we have an extra one left. So we do have an extra one left. 
Here is one, three, and four. Let's see where I happen to put down two. Yeah, and the question after that is, there's two. What is on E? E is Batman Tales Once Upon a Crime, which was a um, all ages graphic novel, original graphic novel. This is a galley copy, an uncorrected proof copy. It's uh, Dustin Wynn art. Really pretty art. It's kind of reimagining Batman and his villains through like a uh, fairy tale story. Once upon a time, once upon a crime. Well, it looks like that's good enough. It's uh, beautiful. We'll it. But it's a uncorrected proof advanced copy. Cool. So that is Charmed Volume 1. I still have a Volume 1 if someone was wanting to try that. And here is Deadpool Dark Rain. Deadpool, Daniel Way. It's Volume 2. It's Dark Rain, taking place right after uh, Secret Invasion. Well, that's a cool. Christos Gage, Deadshot Bulletproof. It's a Deadshot miniseries, $15 miniseries, probably long out of print, but Deadshot miniseries by Christos Gage. Uh, did you see the question for Benjamin just now? What's that? What's that? Do you have any farmhand tonight? No. Sorry. I didn't see any of this. I think I just have, like... The first, uh, I just have through letter D tonight in trades. Just through letter D. Here is uh, DC Universe Presents, and it is Black Lightning, Blue Devil Team Up. Black Lightning, Blue Devil Team Up. Full and complete story. DC Comics Presents, they did different characters for different story arcs with different creators. This is Black and Blue, Black Lightning and Blue Devil together. And that's just $5. This is cool. I have a uh, Wade Samney Daredevil Volume 1, Devil at Bay. Daredevil Volume 1. Volume one. Is Marauders 21 on the two dollars, and this is Star Wars 33, uh, the San Diego Comic Con previous exclusive. EDC presents, yeah, cool. And here is a variant cover of um, issue 33. DC presents, got it. I have the other volumes of that as well. So this is volume one, which is Dead Man and the Challenge of the Unknown. Dead Man and the Challenge of the Unknown, volume one. Long out of print DC book. And then volume two was Vandal Savage by James Robinson. So that's volume two and volume one. B Star Wars. Who was on B Star Wars? Cool variant. I'll walk that over to you, man. Okay, let's do this. So that is a Star Wars variant. Then I have a Star Wars variant on issue thirty-eight. There, kind of cool looking. Oh, looks like the other DC presents one as well. What? The DC presents on E. Okay, I had two of those. So here's one right here. Okay. And then that is volume two. But like I said, they're all 
different creators, different characters, full and complete stories. I have two of those. I put that for three. Here is issue 41, the Ray variant. The Ray variant was the first Galactic Icons variant. That's Ray for six bucks in Near Mint Plus. And then this is Poe for four bucks. Ray on B. Ray? Yep. That's cool. Magic the Gathering 2, two dollars. This crazy one-shot Wild Children by Ellis Scott. First work I ever read from him. It is nuts. Just an insane one and done. First print. Proof of concept, Wild Children. Five bucks. Have Black Star Above, number one, two bucks. Green Lantern, number one, two bucks. Uncanny X-Men 159 in near mint for eight bucks. We're bumping up on 930, so I am not going to be late. Just one minute left or less than that. Sweet. Doing it and doing it, doing it well. Street Fighter 2 premiere issue. Water. Some water. And we're going on our last break. Mm -hmm. news is on the way two brand new sales shows and two classic shows are returning to the experience this week sign up for our mailing list to learn more month on the experience and we're celebrating our friends in the lgbtq plus community join us june 5th and 6th as we kick off our pride month celebration with experience pride a two-day event featuring creators from the community as well as allies and friends and then stay tuned all month as we continue our celebration of pride only on the experience comics culture and sales
to jaywalk across Spring Garden. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up by the library next to Winston Churchill, eating pizza every day like some Ninja Turtles. The kid who burgles from St. Pat's to Gus's Pub at the Public Gardens, feeding ducks by the spot. What's up, cuz? A grace baby in the place, y'all. And like Glace Bay, he loves baseball. From the commons to the wanderer's grounds. And you know I feel weird when no water's around. Down at the harbor front where I used to dishwash. Before I quit to get a job pulling rickshaws. I was spitting raw. Just a kid from the peninsula. You might have seen picking up liquor on Agricola. The particular deliverer of the male star. Hopping fences. Hanging out at the rail yard. Or a pier. Just watching the harbor hop and feeling fat. Like Miller's old barber shop. All right, we are back. And let's get this popping. What do I have different? I have, well, I just put this on right before break. Super Action Series, Tokuma Comics, April 1994, premiere issue. Number one, Street Fighter Two. number one. First print, Green Lantern number one from the new 52, $2. This is uh, the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl oversized hardcover. Slip case, volume one, first print, $35 cover price, marked half off at 18. This is a near mint plus um, Burly Man, Shaolin Cowboy, number one. I mean, look at that, number one, 30 bucks. Then that is a first print, number one, A cover, Far Sector, first appearance of Joe, Sojourner. And you know, she's going places. She could still be on the HBO Max show. She's definitely been fully integrated into the DC universe proper. Some uh, folks I argued with on the DC group that I am an admin on on Facebook, that Young Animal is not in continuity. Young Animal is in non continuity, blah, blah, blah. Doom Patrol looks different when they were in continuity versus non continuity. Like, dude, they crossed over with Justice League of America. It is. It's. It's in continuity. Once someone wants to reference it, said so as soon as a writer wants to reference her, she will be in continuity. It is what it is. And lo and behold, of course it was, because you know. I I know how the DC universe works. It's not. It's a. It's a weird flex. I know, but I know how the DC universe works. I can be your tour guide. Okay, so that is a hardcover of Greg Pak's Superman. This is volume nine of the New 52 Action Comics. It's Greg Pak. Hardcover for just $5. And that is a second copy of Black Lightning, Blue Devil, Black and Blue. It was a team up book of them. That's a one and done volume. It's volume three of DC Universe Presents. However, it is a one and done of those characters with those creators doing that story. You'll get a full and complete story. So, shuffling this off, this was oversized hardcover for half off a of Squirrel Girl. Shuffling that off. I was going to put this out one more time, but like seriously, dudes, first print still bagged issue one. You know it's sold out. You know second print's coming. And the Chase variant that was. Pretty much one in 10. 15 for both. Still bagged, near it plus, both 15. I mean, that's um, a very good price. Basically, it's like uh, make it so I don't have to list on eBay price. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. Cool. Oh, there's Cherry Blackbird on B. Okay, I had two of those actually. So if someone else wants to claim one, I have two. No, oh, it's all right. Exactly two. I had exactly two of those. Here is um, For a second. the other one. Cool. I had exactly two. So it won't be this price. It will be that for the set. Nice. Someone else should uh, perk up and grab that. They did. Two went. Yep, both. Two went. Cool. I'll grab that. Right. With the right price, cool. it'll move. Indeed. That is, that's how stuff works, you know? That's true. Yeah, okay. Uh, Netter offered 40 on Shell and C and Sector D. 
I'm partial to this this sector. I think that's going to definitely go up. Um, Shaolin Cowboy. That's a that's a long game on that one if that's going to go up. But I'm partial to the other. Together, I, I probably wouldn't have gone down on far sector that much. But together, I'd do that. So yes. Oh, okay. I don't know why I felt like explaining it the long it's, way around. It was right about that you got there. Yeah, okay. And here in your mint issue 282 of Uncanny X Men, it is the first cameo and the first cover appearance of Bishop. And here is that Harley Quinn exclusive comic that you had to get from Regal Cinema the night that the movie came out, the movie's premiere. Perfect copy. Exclusive cover. Exclusive back cover. And that is $8. Something really cool for Harley Quinn fans. Oh, that was quick. Uh, the X Men and D Harley. Who now? What? The X Men and D Harley. Okay, I'll allow it. Okay. Yeah, you only have one of the VX, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And D Harley. Dude, this stuff is weird. Like, how? Well, I don't know. Beauty of the Beasts, number four. That looks weird. Um. Oh, I got this Joker War Nightwing. It's like a glove. First printing, $12. Cool Joker cover. Joker put on Nightwing's costume. There you go. Got this Frazetta homage Vader cover. Issue one, one copy of that. Got Tankers two. Got a one dollar undercover price. One dollar undercover price. So we got Vader left. See Vader. Oh, there you got that. Thank you. It seems like it, man. Seems like I was doing it and doing it and doing it well. Yeah, pretty well. Okay, cool. Got some cool Deathlock out of print collections. Lines one and two, Control Alt Delete, Man vs. Machine, Edmondson, Perkins. Mike Perkins, a great, great artist. Love that dude. So this is all 10 issues of that Deathlock from 2014. So if you claim E and F, you'd have all 10 issues, volume one, volume two. Volume one and volume two. This is some weird stuff, huh? Pretty much. Here's a 100 bullets trade, volume eight. That's super thick, volume eight. And that is just five bucks. 
the Deathlock Volume 1 and Volume 2. Cool to get them both together. Crazy Doctor Strange and Finny Gauntlet tie ins. Were we talking about something about furries for a second? Yeah, that was up there. Beauty of the Beasts. Okay. Netter said, I think Omaha the Cat Dancer is about as furry as I can get. Yeah, Omaha the Cat Dancer had a cool story, but it was also erotic and, you know, an actual anthropomorphic cat. But it had a cool story that was telling. And I was a young kid. <laughs> this is the first full appearance and origin of Knox, issue 32, Infinity Gauntlet tie-in, and here's issue 31, first full appearance of the Fear Lords. And of note, these are all near mint and all new stand. So some uh, a few of the variants from this week. This is the issue twenty one one to fifty design variant with Jean Gray. Eighteen bucks one to fifty. Here is that Eternals number one annual in VF for ten dollars. Eternals number one annual volume one. Here is Eternals number ten in near mint for ten dollars. Uh, Netter in full caps lock is where is the beautiful stories for ugly children? Yeah, I didn't see that. That is Piranha Press, man. This is um issue eight in a six point five for ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Down to our last 15 minutes of show, man. Yep. Rocking this out. Mm -hmm. Let's see what kind of stuff Oral put together for me. That ain't bad. You haven't even touched that yet? What? You haven't even used any of that? Oh, why are you talking smack, man? Oh, no, I'm just curious because put stuff up. I didn't know you didn't use any of that. Oh, well. I got this run of Vigilante. Hmm. I really enjoyed this book back in the day. And it, like, I think we, um, the new rumor is the character is going to be in the um, Peacemaker show on HBO. But we thought for a second that um, that guy playing uh, Bloodsport was going to play Vigilante. That Idris. Idris Elba? Yes. But instead it was Bloodsport. Black Superman? No, that's a different actor, no, different I mean, movie. What they called him in that one movie that he played in. This is all 1 through 50 of Vigilante. And what was so freaking nuts about this book, yeah, it tied in with, um, it was basically in the. Teen Titans corner of the universe. Uh, but issue 50, dude killed himself in the last issue. Damn. Yeah, it was in a long time ago, 1988. Jeez, okay. What was on D just a second ago? And then I have both annuals one and two. Second ago on D was Eternals. Okay, so number eight. Speedo, what did do? B, C, and D for 20. For 20? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, oh, well, careful, don't end the camera. Mm hmm. So that is Vigilante 1 through 50 plus Annuals 1 to 2, 1 and 2, plus Annuals 1 and 2, Near Mint, 100 bucks. That uh, another copy of Annual number 1. We just put $2 on that. We're like, come on, that's cool. Then this, X-Force, Adi Granoff, 
issue one, one to 50 variant, first appearance of the new X-Force team, first appearance of Xeno, it is a key, it is a one to 50 add a grand off variant, one to 50. I know that's an older book, but it's still a one to 50 name artist, Addy Granoff. Oral priced it at 28, probably because he saw that was what it most recently was going for, but I'd take an offer on that. And this is just still here. And my magic one per store is still here at $14. Issue three is one per store. So I'd take an offer on any of that. You also had a question from uh, a question. Sister, if you had Eternals one or two. No, we sold, We I think we never had the two in this collection, but we sold the one on Tuesday's show. Mm -hmm. But anytime anyone wants to sell me those books, I am very much receptive to hearing. I have several different collections I'm kind of, you know, waiting on or in the process of um, getting. Oh, these Adventure Supermans. I have volumes one, two, and three. The cover to three really caught my eye. Avengers Superman volume three. Look at all them Supermans. So this is volume three. Oh, and they had that Joker cover. Volume three was 17 bucks. Now that's five. Here is volume two. Also you got an offer of magic for 10. Sure. That's volume two for five. I was out of volume one. So I'll take down this full run of Vigilante. Locally, I'd sell that half off. <laughs> I just don't want to ship it all for that much. But I remember really loving that series as a kid. As a kid, I mean like sixth grade or so probably. Sixth grade. Yes. Yep, sixth grade was when um, I first found out there was a comic book store in Vero Beach. Yeah. And then I wanted to be there as much as human possibly. Like, as much as I could be there, I wanted to be there. Dig through all the bins. Mow everyone's lawn to get money to buy more comics. I was obsessed. Sweet. Ghost Spider. One through seven. Plus the annual. Ghost Spider Annual number one, seven, six. Look at that cover. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. So that is one through seven plus the annual for $45. Are you been seeing we've been doing some good offers tonight as we wind this show down? Get towards the end with the last 10 minutes. Last 10 minutes of the show. I got Ghost Volume Zero, Volume Zero. It's like, you know, not quite ready to say it's Volume One. This is all the, this is all the prelude stuff done by Enzo, Enzo Garza. I have been a fan of Enzo since he worked at the ticket counter at um, the AMC in Altamont Springs. And he made mini comics. And one of them was Gut Ghost. And this is, you know, probably a decade ago or so, I've been a fan of his. I mean, basically, I was friendly with him before he was actually, you know, a dude that did this for a living in any way. And I always encouraged him. And he, he is um, just an all-around good guy. All-around good guy. Guy that, like, Stuck with it, did what he loved, still does what he loves, and has some modicum of um, stability from it. And that is his Volume Zero. It's out new next week, and it's $15 Volume Zero trade paperback. So I take an offer on that. I take an offer on that. That's cover price. Those are $5 each. Winding this down. Still had that volume of uh, Jason Aaron Star Wars, 2015 Star Wars, Near Mint Plus high grade volume, all in my lights. And it's all Near Mint Plus issues one through 61. There are some minor keys in that, but every single one of them is 
absolutely positively high grade. Uh, I have a question from a new person, Alex Lopez. Yes. The ASM six hundred one. Um. Yes, I have one of those that I'm still waiting to get back from CGC. I did a lot of cool covers of Amazing Spider-Man. I don't have any. Um, all the raw ones I had, I've sold. So sorry about that. Also, Nair said I ordered something from Enzo directly. He drew art on the package and drew a sketch for me. Very cool dude. Yes, he's definitely someone that enjoys and is grateful for everything that he's accomplished grateful to have fans wants to share his work with more people you know just all around great dude who said it best this will sell instantly batman little gotham volume one dustin win i mean come on look at that seriously and here is aphrodite five volume one mm -hmm. Top Cow book. Well, you were right about it selling instantly. What? F Batman. Because it was cool. Yeah. And here is Cyclops cool. Volume 1 by Greg Rucka. Greg Rucka Cyclops Volume 1. Fun night. Ugh. I actually had a Deadpool Volume 1. Cool. Deadpool Volume 1? Uh, she for asked the Ghost Rider for 25. What? I have 45 on that, and I don't know why. Like, it's 45. I wasn't the one who priced it. Hmm. So I'm going to look that up right oh. quick. Still have a few minutes. Yeah, about six. Spider. It's one through seven plus. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's priced like that. I. Well, oh, you said. Yeah. Got spider. Yeah, that's fine. You get that annual thrown in. Good times. Thank you. My Fitbit broke again unexpectedly. Just doing this weird face. No time, no nothing. It's waterproof. But I didn't even take it in the water. I guess he just whacked it. Right just right. being defensive. <laughs> you can make an offer on that. Had it out before. I swear I didn't get in the water. I mean, maybe I wrote it down the water slide, but I didn't like dunk it in the water or nothing. Uh, Netter also asked, did you see Ned Beatty die today? No. But I really haven't been on the internet. We just had a party for my son's birthday with the grandparents, with both sets of grandparents. Uh, so I didn't really be on the internet, but that's sad. Yeah, Netter also said my Fitbit did the same thing. I ended up throwing it away. It is a known flaw. They replace it if you are still in warranty. Okay, well, sounds like I need to see if I'm still in warranty. I don't even remember it banging against anything. Here is Night Gwen, issue one, one dollar undercover price. One shot, one dollar undercover price at just four dollars. Ooh, here is Aliens Rogue. Aliens Rogue, Dark Horse Comic, Alien Trade. And that's just five bucks. And here is Superman, Aliens, Volume 1, 1, 2, and 3. Near Mint, 20 bucks. Volume 1, 1, 2, and 3. Near Mint, 20 bucks. Probably will never happen again because Disney owns aliens. All right. 
I'm going to go home tonight and read Static 1 and Supergirl 1 by Tom King. That should be fun. Oh, here's a Star Wars 1 party variant. Just bought that Jackson uh, Star Wars black figure. Really like it. Two things. Question from Schieffer. Do you have any more Web Spider-Man 1? Haven't seen any more. And Aliens. Um, haven't seen any more. I mean, they went to the store. They would have been on the, the shelf there. Behind the shelf. There is a Star Wars party variant. Jackson party variant. Uh, see Superman Aliens. Yeah, that looks hot. That definitely looks hot, bro. Definitely hot. I'm gonna go home, read Static and Supergirl. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of the Web of Spider-Man 1, so he must have sold those last couple copies in the store. All right. Okay, two minutes left. Two minutes. Any final uh, anything? Never said have a great night, guys. You I'll guys, everyone have a great night. Happy to sell that Superman Aliens. That was fun. Here is Legend of Dark Knight. Our ten bucks. That is near mint. Here is Batman six ten. Jim Lee four bucks. Still looking for Supergirl to read tonight. Thought that cover was great. Mm -mm -mm. Guess I'm gonna have to read one of these B covers. So we're closing this down, and we will be back Tuesday for sure on our own page, a comic shop on Close Facebook. Have a great night. Everyone have a great night. Awesome. That was fun, guys. Good times. We should have some more trades on uh, Tuesday as well, $5 trades. Just had like A through D right now. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll grab some from the back of the alphabet. So now it's 10. Thanks for such a good show, guys. That was fun. Bye-bye.